raped a girl. Now, I want to break this down. Like, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. So, you know, before more detail come out on my opinion of what actually happened. But I do want to talk about this from a self-defense standpoint for the man and the woman. All right. So first, I'm going to talk from the woman's perspective, because in my opinion, prevention is the most important thing when it comes to self-defense. Let's say he is guilty. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to do a hypothetical on the woman's perspective and he's guilty and the man's perspective if he's not guilty so from a woman's perspective let's say he is guilty there were a couple of red flags out there so the first red flag is uh she stated that he offered her fifteen hundred dollars to pull up so for those of you who don't know pull up means to come over all right fifteen hundred i'll give you fifteen hundred dollars now here's the thing if you've been unless you've been under under a rock um, you know, since since the pandemic, you know, and probably before that, if somebody offers you fifteen hundred dollars to pull up, that is a proposition for sex. He wants he's asking for sex. And if you act like you don't know it or if you don't know it, then you should know it now. Hopefully somebody will send you this video. So that's red flag number one. Um, and she goes over there anyway. And she knew she didn't want to have sex if if in fact he is guilty. Red flag number two, when he answers the door. Um, she alleges that he thinks she thinks a party's still going on. But the thing is, he answers the door and he's only wearing basketball shorts. So he barely has any clothes on. He opens the door. Now, the question is, do you know this guy? Have you been dating him? If you barely know him, he answers the door after he already propositioned you. Then um, that's another red flag. Now, she did state that she told him that she's not a gold digger and she refused the money. And so she goes in there and she drinks a lot. And she stated that she fell asleep in the bed with him, basically. Um, and then he pulled her clothes off and he forced himself upon her. Now, if he did do this, then yes, he should be guilty. He should be going to jail. But my job is to prevent these things from happening. I don't even want to get into a situation where I'm telling you how to fight somebody off. I want to tell you how to avoid these situations altogether. Now, some people might say, oh, but you're victim blaming and this and that. I don't care what you say. All right. My job is to try to prevent and get out of these situations before they happen. And I'm just pointing out some of the red flags that was there. Now, I don't know what else happened. I don't know what was said or anything like that. Um, but the thing is, she went into the house or she went into the hotel. She thought it was a party, but she went in there and it wasn't a party. She drank a lot and she fell asleep in the bed with him. You know what I'm saying? And so here's the thing. If it's a good if she's with a good guy, she'd be safe and sound. You know what I'm saying? But if she's with a bad guy then bad things are probably going to happen. And so according to her reports, uh, he ripped off her clothes. He forced himself on her. Horrible experience. All right. Now, on the flip side, let's say she's innocent. And I'm going to speak from the guy's perspective. Now, you offer a woman fifteen hundred dollars. You offer fifteen hundred dollars to come over. You get the Uber and stuff like that. She does not accept the money. Now, the fifteen hundred dollars is a proposition. Uh, the fifteen hundred dollars, if you're offering that, if you want sex, be more clear about it. Be crystal clear about it, especially this day and age. This is not the 90s. This is not the 80s. And especially if you're, even if you're not a millionaire, but if you're a young millionaire, it is too easy to get a woman. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you let her in after she refused the money. She said, I'm not a gold digger. So that's her way of saying no. You know what I'm saying? That's her way of saying no. Now, if you don't know that, if you disagree okay all right uh, uh ignore that red flag if you want to all right so you let her in she's had a lot to drink now here's the thing she might have consented to sex these things are very hard to prove she might have consented to sex uh but the thing is when somebody's under the influence of alcohol they can withdraw consent now you're an ex-professional basketball player you're a young millionaire let's say you are innocent you're an ex-professional basketball player you're a young millionaire. You have to know that you could be a target. You could be a target of something like this. If you're innocent, you could be a target of someone trying to line you up. If you disagree with me, you are saying that young millionaire, young successful men that are millionaires are not targets, are not targets by some women. All right. You're playing dumb if you if you disagree with me on that. So you offer fifteen hundred dollars. You say I'm not a gold digger. She lays in the bed. You know, something goes down, hey, and uh, on, from your point of view, it's consensual, or you maybe just left her asleep. 
You know, I, I don't know. So I'm just uh, speaking hypotheticals here from the man's point of view and from the woman's point of view. You know, from the man's point of view, uh, it's funny because, uh, well, that's not funny, but uh, there was an Ohio State case uh, with the players where the coach makes them get video consent from the girl before they have sex. And in one case, these guys still, they got video consent and they still got kicked off the team because she accused them of sexual assault. So that's how that's how shaky it is. That's how hard the hammer is coming down sometimes. Sometimes a hammer doesn't come down at all. Sometimes things happen to a woman and nothing happens to the guy because he has money, he has ends, and he's able to get out of the situation. So I'm just here. It's a big story that broke. I don't know anything else about the story except for what's on the article. All I'm doing is talk about talking about the story. I'm giving some hypotheticals from each end. I'm not really uh, stating what I think or anything like that. And the reason why I'm going on and on is because I'm not stating what I think. Because a lot of times when I do these teaching videos, um, someone always gets offended. But then also they always try to put words into my mouth. It's something that I wasn't even talking about. And then they'll just jump in off of some argument that they've been having either in their head or some argument that they had with something else that don't have much to do with the video. I get what sometimes you're saying and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, that's all I got for this one, man. Tell me what you think. I'll see you on the next.